Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you're going to handle the dynamic drop downs in Playwright. So previously we have understood about the static drop downs, what exactly static drop downs are, how you're going to identify them, handle them within Playwright. Now let's go and discuss about the dynamic drop downs. Now many of the websites that you will see will have the dynamic drop downs and I'll quickly let me copy this same code here and we will change it to dynamic drop down name this i'll say dynamic drop down okay so i've renamed the file let me open that particular file close it here and close all of this okay so what i'll do is i'll remove all the code that was there okay uh so we don't get confused right and just leave it here i'll say select dynamic drop down demo okay and then we'll open the website so which website we are going to work with so i'll have this particular travel website so yatra.com right and you'll see here depart from going to right so if i simply click on this you will see the list appears okay the list of values appears and if i go ahead and say for example start typing in something say new you will see the list updates and we have all the values which contain that particular text that you have typed in here okay now this is not a static drop down if i simply go ahead say for example i right click and inspect okay you will see that this is standard html element and not the select tag okay wherein we understood about the select tag and the static drop downs right so if we go here and i'll simply open this so you'll see this is the input the the input autocomplete right so this tag and and then below that say for example i start typing in and let me move in here okay so this is the div that's the div right and below this you will see this is unordered list and within the unordered list if i open this another div and another div in here you will see there is a lot of nesting here wherein i get all these list right so list items are there and within the list items these values appear right so this is not a standard static drop down so any of the dynamic drop downs that you see something like this how you are going to basically handle those okay so this is what we are going to discuss now the couple of things we have to understand before we go ahead and discuss and implement this the first thing is if say for example i don't have the automation script how am i going to go ahead and do this particular process okay so the first thing is i'll launch this particular website then i will go ahead and this is how the screen will appear okay and then i'll go ahead and click on depart from right and then I'll start typing in the value that I'm going to select. Okay, so I've clicked, then I have typed in the value and then you will see, I'll go ahead and manually have a look. Okay, if I have to say, for example, I want to select New York JFK, I'll go ahead and look it and then select this, right? Then I'll go click on the next one and I'll start typing in the next field okay and then select the next one okay so this is brief steps that you are going to follow manually right now how we are going to handle this in the script similar approach step by step whatever we do manually we have to handle that within our code okay so the first step we are doing is basically we are going to that particular website right whichever we are going to use so i'll simply copy this particular locator or the url of the website and will open right so we are going to that particular website we are opening that particular page the next thing once this website opens is i have to go ahead in the script now manually i know i can see that i have this depart from visually i can see and with my sense i can go ahead and click on depart from and start typing in right but my script needs to know where exactly it needs to click so i have to identify the locator of this depart from right so I'll simply right click inspect and find the locator of this depart from first where I have to click and start typing right so if you see here if I simply select this little icon here okay and just highlight this depart from okay and let me move in a little bit here you'll see this is an input tag right this is input tag and it has the name it has the ID right so it has this ID okay so if I simply right click and copy the selector let me copy and say control F and paste it here you'll see that if i say css selector this hash is basically the id right this represents an id and then the id whatever id so this is highly unlikely to change because it is a very static sort of a text be flight origin city right so this is very highly unlikely to change and this is unique so i can simply copy this particular locator 
so we'll go and do the next step what is basically the next step i'll just click first click on this particular locator before clicking let me store it in a particular variable okay so i'll say constant and i'll say uh, depart from okay depart from i'll just provide some name there and i'll simply say page dot locator page dot locator and then specify the locator which i have copied right so simply specify the locator right so now page dot locator will locate that particular web element and depart from will hold that particular web element okay now what i'll do is do next i'll simply click on this so i can say okay depart from dot click right and usually either you click or clear okay so what i'll do is I'll do instead of clicking, I'll simply go ahead and say clear. If there is anything, just clear it, right? So if I go here, so usually if you load it for the first time, there is some value in there, right? So what I'll do is I'll clear everything, okay? So I'll say instead of clicking, I'll say clear. So I'll say depart from dot clear, okay? And then I'll put some delay in there, right? So I'll say simply delay and say one second delay right so that will clear that particular field now after clearing i have to basically go ahead and start typing in the text right so now within that particular same web element depart from wherein i have cleared that particular field in order to type something in the playwright i'll simply say fill right so you can use fill but in this particular case fill is not going to work why because fill straight away puts all of those values into the text box right and here if you see the behavior is little different when you start typing there is a little of search that goes into the background right so if i say n e you'll see there is a little bit of delay and lag so if i say new the filtering also goes in the background right so you have to make sure that you use the right method to handle these sort of situations okay if i'll simply say just fill new in there okay that because of this search feature or the app feature itself that is not going to work so what we have to use here is instead of doing the fill we have this method which is press sequentially okay which is basically you press the keyboard keys sequentially as the user does when they are testing something right so if i have to type in new then i'll type n then e then w this is what this particular method will do okay so i'll say press sequentially and what exactly i'm going to press sequentially i'll press sequentially new right and then i'll also put you know a little bit of delay after each of these characters okay so i'll simply say okay delay and let's put a uh, one second delay okay now this will basically go ahead and press the keys n e w right from the keyboard sequentially first n then e then w right and there'll be a delay as well let me remove this test dos slow okay so now you will see what step we have done we have opened yatra.com we have located the origin city locator then we are clearing that origin city then we are pressing new right or pressing sequentially any w with a delay of one second each okay so that will type in any w and a list will appear right so anything or any detail or this particular list items that you see here will filter based on the text that you put in there so now i have to basically go ahead and get somehow all these list items and then check if the list item matches whatever i want to click and it's present in here then click on that right so how am i going to get all these list items now within playwright i have already explained that we have the method to handle lists very easily okay so what we, what i'll do is i'll next go ahead and let me go ahead and identify where exactly this particular all these list items appear okay so the locator so if i simply highlight or click on this particular icon here and just go ahead and highlight this whole section wherein these list items are there okay so if i click on one you'll see okay so here you'll see the whole thing is highlighted if i click on that you'll see that in the right hand side you this classes viewport right so classes viewport basically which contains all the filtered items the list items right so if i simply go ahead and highlight over this area here you will see that the whole blue section is highlighted which contains that list item right so i can simply say okay in playwright go to this particular section and get me all the list items below this right so i'll simply copy this particular locator so i'll say copy selector control f and see what locator it has copied okay it has copied a really really 
long locator which is highly could be highly brittle so what i'll do is i'll simply use this dot viewport okay so let me say view port okay so you'll see still it is unique because this is the only one that is visible at the moment and this is one of one and this viewport contains all these list items whenever i'll type in right so i'll simply use this dot viewport dot represents the class right in the css selector and viewport is the name of the class right so i'll simply copy this and i'll say here let me so i'll say page dot okay i have made a little mistake here i haven't used await right so any action that you are doing you have to make sure you use await right so don't forget that and again await because we are doing actions right and it's a javascript so i'll simply say okay page dot locator and what is the locator the locator is the locator that i have got which is dot viewport now within this viewport i'll simply use the method get by role right so i'll say okay there are any list items that get represented or get filtered here are the list item role right so anything in this particular search is list item so with the role below this viewport i will get all the list items that are displayed right so i'll simply go ahead and say get by role okay and here i'll simply say list item okay so list item will get me all the list items below this particular section which is viewport section right and that is why we have identified this locator because we don't want to get all the list items on the page so we are getting by row list item which is below this viewport which is below this only this search viewport right all the list items below this because this is where all these list items will appear and now within this list i'll go ahead and select something right so now what i'll do is i'll go ahead okay i got by role so it will give me all the list items below that now from that i can go ahead and then select something based on some criteria okay so what i'll do is i'll then use the filter right so i can then filter based on some something so let me move this here in the next line so i'll say dot filter and filter based on the text what is the best way to filter filter based on the text for example if i have to select say i type in new in here and i want to select new york jfk so i'll simply say okay new york jfk select the list item that contains the text new york jfk so with the filter i'll go ahead and provide that particular text okay so after filtering so getting by role will get me all the list items then i'll filter a specific list item and then perform the action on it right so i have to first get all the values then filter one value out of it and then perform action i can either click or whatever i can do right so i at this instance i have to go ahead and click on one of the list items so then after filtering when i when i say filter filter based on something okay so filter based on i'll say has text okay because i'm looking for a text and what text so has text say for example let me type in new in here and i'll say new york jfk okay so if i go ahead new let me go to that list okay anyways uh so i'll just copy this new york jfk right so i'll just type in there new york and then in bracket i'll say jfk i think that's how the text is appearing and if it fails then we'll update that right so as of now if i see here new space york space in brackets nyc so i think that should match right or i'll say new york jfk right so let me change it to jfk oh uh, yeah it's jfk already so this will filter based on this particular text right so list item get by row list item gets all the list items that match when you say press new right so all the list items that will appear that will contain new will get stored right with the list get by row list items below this viewport and then i am saying filter based on a text so it will filter one and then you can say dot click right so then i'll say okay dot click on this right so this will basically go ahead and click on that particular value new york jfk right so pretty simple and easy but i try to correlate this with all the manual steps so you can basically go ahead and understand what you have to do what exactly your script is doing right so you are opening a page like the way you will do manually then you are figuring out where exactly you want to start typing in right so your script needs to find the locator the place on the page where it will click and start typing in so this is basically getting that depart from locate location then 
we are clearing that particular field so that there is, if there is any text it gets text it gets cleared then we are pressing sequentially uh, sequentially the keys new and then we are basically getting all the values that that have the list item because if you'll see that all the values come into a list item then we are filtering based on the role list item um, and then the role having a particular text and then clicking okay so this is basically how we are going to handle the dynamic drop down okay so now everything is done in this particular script let's execute and see how it goes okay so i'll click on execute let's see what happens so it has opened the website and now let's wait and see whether depart from gets cleared you'll see it get cleared and then you'll see new is being typed and you'll see new york got selected right jfk got selected from there and straight away it came to going to Right. So this is how we are going to handle the dynamic drop down in this particular travel website. You can go ahead and work with going to with the similar approach, right? Nothing else. You simply have to specify. You'll see the test has passed, right? And what do you have to do now for the going to? You simply have to identify going to locator, right? And then clear that. Then again, from going to press sequentially, whatever you want to type in, then filter and click the going to value as well okay so from here you simply do the similar steps at we as we have done for the depart from and you will be absolutely fine in handling any of the dynamic drop downs when you practice this right so the steps are pretty simple in playwright it is even more simpler to handle dynamic drop downs okay so that's all for this video please do the assignment of handling other going to uh, part so that you get more comfortable in handling dynamic drop downs within playwright so that's all i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching